I'm doing, and uh, I want to spend as well, little time you, with my wife as possible. What happens over the next month or two to, to <coughs> I, 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 in, I need in, to have in, a few more conversations leaders. with, uh, uh, you know, with, uh, with party leaders. And, uh, but, you know, mo I, most of it is uh, on, on the personal side, yeah. really. Is, is this fight over party chair? Because, because Tim, you know, I, I, I don't agree with you that the fire is not there. It's a real gut check about are you ready to be, you know, all in and, and give up, you know, yes, of all, of this, all of this stuff that's on the personal side of the ledger. Because you, know, you never do anything half cocked. You're right. either in or you're out. Right. Right. Well, you can't. It, it, uh, can you envision yourself being picked up at seven o'clock every morning, going up to Marquette, going over to Sault Ste. Marie, and stuff like that? You know, I I I, I haven't said no. That's why I can, you know, I yeah. can I can envision it. It's a matter of whether uh, it it makes sense for me personally. Have you talked to other people that you think might be candidates? Um. About whether they're interested, or just no. about the race, no, or, or no. just about anything that, that has to do with it. Did Gretchen no. falling out, getting out, change your thinking at all? Uh, I, I would say that it's, um, you know, I hadn't uh, seen the term uh, front runner candidate uh, prior to that. I mean, it's obviously uh, uh, added a little more uh, pressure, uh, I yeah. guess, to the calculation. But what do you, you think know, about Duggan? Uh, Running for governor? Yeah, uh, I, I I don't think he's going to do it. He seems pretty intent on on running for mayor. Seems, I think you're right. Seems very dug in on, you know, helping no to save, helping to yeah, <laughs> helping to revive the city of Detroit. What about Stabenow? Ah, uh, you know, I, I I would be shocked. Uh, I you know, I mean, you she's wouldn't be the, alone. She, she's the, yeah. she's <laughs> the chair. She's very she's, happy. Well, it it's not just happy. I mean, it's she's the chair of the, the Senate Ag yeah. and Forestry Committee. She's rising in seniority. Uh, but she'd know, get a free ride. Yeah, there's no such thing as a free ride. <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, she, let me put it this way. She'd have she a wouldn't job have to risk. She, she wouldn't have to risk her. She oh, wouldn't was have that a high sign to get out? No. Oh, okay. No, just right. a reminder that you guys are rolling. Oh, oh yes. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Very good. I'm sorry, but I yeah, apologize. No, 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 I should have no. told you that. Yeah, no, I, I knew that. I knew okay. that. But okay. then if um, not them, then who? If not you, know, you then I, who? I mean, I, the I bench is very weak. You know, I, I don't agree. I, I think there are many people out there, whether they've held office in the past or not held office. I mean, Rick Snyder hadn't held office in the past. Uh, you know, so I, I think... But he's an uh, accidental governor. Get him in a, in a one-person primary, and he's not governor. You agree with that analysis? Uh, it assumes I, I, they didn't I, have a different plan I, for a. Uh, well, we also have, kind of haven't had a I, governor I, I, in recent times that wasn't reelected. No. I mean, you know, running against an incumbent governor is very tough, and especially a guy mm -hmm. who's going to have the kind of money he's going to have. Yeah. Just think of the high profile though Battle Creek would get if you ran <laughs> Battle Creek ah, Man versus Battle Creek. You know, I've thought about that. That, that would be uh, a great no tough man now. contest for <laughs> Battle Creek. <laughs> that would be awesome. Tony the Tiger we, we, referee. We have a number. We have a number of mutual friends. I will. I will. Do you really tell you that? Uh, yeah. uh, have you ever sat down and chatted with this guy? Uh, with Snyder? Yeah. Uh, I've just met him once. Just met him mm -hmm. once? Yeah. Well, what's your gauge of him? Uh, you know, I think uh, he's, a, he's a business guy and, and sees, uh, you know, the world through uh, the lens of a balance sheet. Well, do you and, think he's uh, you know, I, <laughs> uh, You know, I think there are, are tr real trust issues given what happened, particularly on right to work. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know what happened there, um, you know, but it's, uh, I think the, uh, his job gets tougher, especially with uh, fewer Republicans in the House now, uh, where he needs Democratic votes. This is going to get interesting as to whether he's willing to vote trade and do the kinds of things to bring you guys in. Well, you know, it's... They I, already I, said I, they I, don't I, do I, that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I know they say that. Work together. Yeah. Right. Working, you know, I I was together. elected to the House in 1996. You guys all remember that. That's that's been a while, and uh, uh, Lansing has changed a lot. I think you guys would agree with that as well. And so I think um, uh, sort of a return to uh, not just collegiality, but an understanding that um, you know we need to truly negotiate over some of these matters and figure out what's important to you, here's what's important to us, let's build some trust. I, I think it is an opportunity for the governor to, to build some trust and, and, and reach out. I, I've encouraged 
Republicans to uh, truly, I, I, I've encouraged the legislature to legislate, you know, first of all, on, on the transportation funding initiative. Uh, it's, and and uh, Republicans to uh, sincerely reach out to Democrats. They need them. And so uh, we'll see if they, can, if they can function better than Washington can. Everybody had enough? All right, guys, have a safe trip home. All right. Thank you, Thank Mr. Thank you. Did you bring your snowmobile out?